The aggressive brain cancer, glioblastoma, has proven very difficult to treat with standard cancer treatments. But now, scientists think they might have stumbled upon a new solution, the Zika virus. Glioblastoma is difficult to treat because it transforms normal brain cells into stem cells, which can multiply pretty much indefinitely. So if most of the tumor is removed, even if there's one cell left, it, there's a high chance that it will regrow and come back. But the Zika virus might offer a new way to target these hard to treat cells. It turns out the Zika virus uses a special molecular key to interface with normal brain cells, but also brain cancer cells. This molecular key is called an integrin and it sits on the surface of the virus and plugs into the cells it's going to infect, in essence. So there's a lock that this key fits into on every different type of brain stem cell from healthy ones to cancerous ones. This key is made up of two components. One half is called alpha V and the other half is called beta five. The alpha V component appears on all different sorts of brain stem cells from healthy to cancerous. But the beta five component is fairly unique to cancerous cells. So the Zika virus actually prefers to infect cancerous brain cells over normal ones. Scientists think they can hack into this tendency of the virus to trick it into only affecting the cancerous brain cells and leaving healthy brain cells alone. So far, the strategy has seemed promising in mouse studies, but it has a long way to go before it reaches human cancer patients.